This is just another shot of the width of the dam, how wide it made the stream. I'll show you a picture when I get back to the cabin of really what the width is supposed to look like. And you'll be able to see just how much, when they dam it up, it slows the water down so that the sand drops down in between the rocks and makes it sandy bottom. Well, I'm 67 years old and we've had this place since I was four. When you have a sandy bottom, it's sure nice for going swimming, but it's not real good for the trout we have in here, the browns and the specks and the rainbows and so we have to always tear the beaver dams out so that the water can free flow but right now it's way too cold in the winter time and and it is dammed up and we'll get it cleaned out here but I'm gonna go back down by the beaver dam house part and hopefully maybe I'll get another picture of it coming back with some food well I'm down on the trout stream and we have a beaver dam I'm gonna take pictures of in just a minute but I want you to see how wide those beavers have made our little itty bitty stream. It goes way across and way over here to these trees. I was just walking up. Oh, oh. Trying to get the picture of the beaver. I can't believe I saw it when I walked in and it's still going up and down the stream. I think it's probably looking for more greenery to put down by their lodge. Pretty cool. Well, he saw me do a little bit of movement so he jumped in and my fingers are frozen stiff. Gonna have to call it a day and just thank Jesus very much for the beautiful show he just put on for me. Oh, he put on for you. I'm not sure where the beaver went, but it might be eight degrees out right now and I am frozen. So I'm gonna Here. This is the dam. And then the beaver swims in. See this little canal along the bank? The beaver swims in there. And then when the water's real slow up here, it stores all of its sticks for eating in the wintertime up on top. And right now its house is underneath the bank in a nice dry spot and it grabs the sticks when they're hungry and pulls it into their lodge and when they get done they just bring the sticks out and let it be part of the dam anyway I'm not sure I can wait much longer my fingers are frozen it is beautiful though isn't it oh man I wish I could get one more shot Well, since I'm the only one here, <laughs> I think I'm camouflaged enough. With my snakeskin white jacket with the snow and my green hat that matches the trees, that's why he hasn't seen me so far. Maybe just because I'm trying to hide against a tree so he doesn't see my movement. So. Thank you very much for watching. It's been fun. just went underneath the dam. Right there is where he went under. 
I have no idea if he'll come back up or if he's got a little tunnel under there to get to his house. This is the width of our little stream. Just wanted you to compare it to the beaver dam. And I've run out of juice now, so we're going to lose it. Isn't it beautiful? God's country. Well, I'm kind of an outdoorsy kind of girl, and we have a cabin down at the end of the road and on a trout stream. Well, we have a beaver dam on the trout stream, and that's kind of what you watched until you got to my song. I just, I love taking movies of wildlife, and I hope you enjoyed the beaver, and I thought, what song could I sing that would go along with a beaver swimming in a river? And I thought, oh, there is a river. So, we'll try to do her here. There is a river. Thank you.
sense of humor. I hope you have a great day. Gloria Lynn signing out for now.